Considering current events and the importance we all attach to supporting Turkey and its reforms, it would be in particular important to overcome the existing, existing blockages on the EU side and to start negotiations on the relevant chapters 23 and 24, fundamental freedoms, judicial reforms, justice, freedom, security. And to do it as quickly as possible. This is as much in our genuine interest as it is in the Turkish. How come at this moment when we talk so much about the fundamental freedoms and rights, the Minister of Justice of Turkey is asking me repeatedly again and again, where is the screening report of the Turkey in this field I can use uh, for further reforms? And his record of reforms is solid. How come uh, he's asking me to provide him with the benchmarks for both opening and closing this very important chapter 23. Why we have to wait for three years to offer not only to authorities but also to the civil society an additional platform for interaction through a new chapter to be open. We're talking about the lack of the dialogue between the authorities and the civil society. We're forgetting that the accession process itself through each and every chapter offers additional platform for that dialogue based on the EU values. How you would like to ensure that the European Union continues to be a benchmark for the Turkish reforms? Honourable members, there was no disrespect shown to me from the Prime Minister Erdogan. He listened carefully during the conference and also during our debate afterwards. Second, I have not seen his comments uh, uh, complaining uh, uh, that I said something afterwards, what I have not said in our meeting behind the closed doors. So I cannot comment on this one, but I can assure you that I made uh, the comments uh, about the protesters and the way the Turkish authorities are going to handle this uh, issue uh, to be the crucial element of indeed re-energizing the accession negotiations and finding uh, the sustainable momentum to be in the focus of the debate we had. The only thing I have not shared with him was the text of the tweet I sent uh, uh, afterwards. The tweet on me being disappointed by the lost opportunity at the Istanbul conference to reach out to those calling for respect and inclusive uh, dialogue. I have 14.4 thousand followers on my Twitter account. I envy Prime Minister Erdogan. He's having 2.7 million. Uh, <laughs> Honourable members, what I said at the end of the conference uh, uh, in Istanbul was the following. We are bound to avoid that the sustainable momentum we want to create is not undermined. We are bound to succeed together. Why? Because no one should question the importance of stable, democratic and modern Turkey for its region and for the European as a whole. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias, Comisario. Vamos a la, la última intervención en este inter, interesante, fascinante debate va a ser el de la señora vicepresidenta de la Comisión y alta representante de la Unión para Asuntos Exteriores y Política de Seguridad.